is a huge uh, issue for all of us. It's one of the issues that all people have in common, transportation. We all have places we want to go, and when something goes wrong, people notice. Always on citizen surveys, you know, one of the things that they're asking for is, is road repairs, better streets. A range of transportation issues is why these leaders in the field and government officials are getting together to talk about the current challenges and future opportunities. This is the Transportation Investment Summit at the Irving Convention Center. This is our 19th summit that we've had. We still have great speakers and people that are interested in transportation and things that have brought us all together. Among the many topics discussed this year, toll roads. Release traffic on existing roads. So to me, that's amazing benefit. And the progress of women in infrastructure. Women are taking a major part now in being engineers and working on technology, ways to make highways safer, make traffic better. Irving Mayor Beth Van Dyne presented former U.S. Senator Kay Bailey Hutchison a special honor. And for that reason and so many more, I am proud to be able to give you our life, Irving's Lifetime Infrastructure Champion. At that same luncheon, the U.S. Department of Transportation's Deputy Secretary delivered the keynote address. He talked about the accomplishments under President Obama. Oh, absolutely. We, we have, uh, for the last eight years, we've had a lot of successes. When you look at, you know, beginning from day one, uh, if we look at the uh, Recovery Act and all the funding that we actually helped create and develop, uh, a lot of transportation initiatives that would not have happened without that. He also acknowledges there is plenty more to do. That is why everyone we talk to sees a big need for these events that bring people together to focus on solutions because transportation issues can be tough. Why are transportation issues so tricky to solve? Because people are moving to Texas in droves. We are having population growth before we're meeting the infrastructure needs. If you look at some of the projections we have done at the federal level, uh, our country we project over the next 30 years, population will increase by 70 million people and freight will increase about 45 to 50 percent. So our challenge today is how do we uh, plan for the future? Finding funding for it uh, uh, and how and where to do it. Anything that we can come up with and work together to streamline those type of issues is important. The difficulty in solving these challenges is bringing about a new push for innovative ideas. I want you to bring to us in our call for projects. You too can receive funding. That means solutions that could make it easier for us all could have their roots right here in Irving, from that competition or from the networking and knowledge that happens here. I think Irving's benefited uh, over the years from having this summit here. Thomas Gandy for City Source.